Hello, everyone, and welcome to the final level of the Atlantis Percent tutorial, Glitchless. And this is going to be the Great Pyramid level. We ended off right after the cutscene in Atlantis, where we got to the stat screen. Uh, the game is going to thrust us right into one of the final boss battles of the game against Torso Boss. So let's just get past this. And right away, you'll want to inventory and head over to the Uzis. It takes about 600 shots to kill Torso, and we just kind of want to watch where he's going and then react to where he's heading. And from there, it's just a lot of side flipping around, back hopping like this, and staying away from him, trying not to take much damage. Torso isn't really that big of a deal when it comes to a run like this, so I recommend just practicing the boss fight a few times, making sure you know exactly what you need to do and, you know, not really being too bothered with it. And once you're doing that animation, you know he's dead, and you just have to wait for this door to open. Although I'm going to explain one very important thing. If you kill Torso directly on this tile right here, if he stops his animation right on this edge tile, the tile that you spawn in at the start of the level, for some glitchy reason, once he blows up, that door does not open. So if you know he's about to die and he's coming towards you and he's right on this tile, I recommend stop shooting and waiting for him to inch off of it and then start shooting again until he's dead. If you shoot him right here, that door will not open. You will be soft locked and there's nothing you can do. So that's just a quick little tip right there. Now after that, we can head off this way. You can do jumps down to here and down here here to this pushable block. And we're going to push this a few times. <laughs> and then we're going to want to turn right and head up over to here. And push this one once. From here, there's a few things we can do. We can either hop over to here and then do a backflip. We need to be really close up to the edge right to here to do the backflip and then jump up like this. Or we can roll and then do a standing jump, roll, and then running jump up to here. Either of those work. Then here. This is a uh, dangerous cling clang door. You don't want to mess this up. The fastest way is just to do um, just a running jump at it, and then pause, and then jump when it's the right time. Now that can be difficult, and you could get stuck in a bad timing like that. One of the other ways to do it is to activate that breakable tile, and then walk to the edge, and then wait till that moment when it's shutting like that, and you'll be able to do a standing jump over without much problem. So now, and you'll be able to get through. From there you can head this way, down to this block, and we'll want to push this once. And then we'll need to head back this way. want to fall down here, standing jump up and over this block, and then push it two times. And then do running jumps all the way back. You can now pull this lever right here and running jumps down to here, and we can stop right about here after a few steps. There's a few ways to do this. Sorry about that, my keyboard was going a little funny. Now, there's a few ways to do this. 
one of them from about this location right here you can actually do a standing jump down to here and then a running jump across to here and with that you can continue a running jump all the way over to the other side now that can be difficult although it is the fastest strategy it can be uh, difficult to pull off as you can see already messing up like that if you want to go a little slower you can standing jump down to here go to the edge standing jump over to here back hop and do a running jump over to here and a running jump over to here any sequence that gets you over the uh, fastest one is going to be this one right here though like that then you'll want to come over here roll about here and let that boulder come down and then stand here and wait for the boulder to go by and then go Another similar thing, just we gotta go a little farther up to about here. And then back in here and wait. And then go. And then it's gonna be one of the instances of forced damage that's gonna take place here. This drop down. To avoid some of that damage, we can do this and grab. Don't lose much time doing it. And we wanna shoot and kill the Skion and then run off to this way jump all the way over to here and roll into this pit and grab. Drop down, roll, and then move forward. Now here there's a few ways you can do this. If you want to play it safe, you can just do a normal running jump, hold grab right to here and start shimmying. Or you can try and save every single second possible and you can go all the way over to the right here and late grab and then start shimmying. Saves a good few seconds of shimmying, but is very risky and hard to do. You can try and go in the middle over to here and get the same kind of uh, lateral distance, but without much risk. The farthest you're really going to get is about right there, and that is a very risky late grab jump. So I just, I would just say jump straight at it safely or get a little bit of that. Um, distance I would not go for a crazy amount to the right although it's the fastest. Now after you drop down and jump you'll land here and you'll want to turn this way. And we're going to do a sequence to get through here. We'll want to do a standing jump, running jump off to the right and then curve towards the center, go in between these spikes and then do one two three steps over to here and then continue running jumps all the way through like that. This is difficult. So again, standing jump, off to the right, back to the center, go to the right again, and then one, two, three steps over to here, and then off over to here, and continue on. That's the best sequence to do it, but can also be hard. If you're really thinking that's too hard, then you might want to come down here and do something like this. if you really want to play it safe and continue on like that now when you get a running sequence like in the hard one I showed you you can actually just keep on running and jumping down to here and then jump and then jump down to here and you can actually hit a grab cancel right here by doing a late grab as you land um, if you're not really confident doing that you can just back hop once right here and standing jump and then jump and wait a bit and jump and then grab and that cancels it and that lets you do a standing jump forward. Now here I recommend just going this way and going where the axe isn't. Um, if the axe nicks you it can do some damage. If you run straight through the axe it'll kill you but uh, for the most part you can avoid this quite easy. If you're really having major problems you can do a setup which is going all the way over this way and then doing two side flips to the right and that gets you over the boulder safely and then you can just deal with the axe just like this. I don't recommend doing this, it does take a lot of time but if you're having the troubles it might be worth it for you. And then go down here and then here there is a very difficult jump you can do or just a safe way of doing it. Safe way is just going down around the center and then jumping late and landing up here and then you can roll and then jump through to the next area. 
or you can go off to this right side here and then jump right about there off to the left. That is a difficult jump, but it can be worth it if you're um, going for the fast times. Uh, I have a very specific spot that I'm looking, so let me just use frame buffers to pause. You can see the seam uh, between the two tiles where the axe is at. As I'm coming through down here, you can see Lara's uh, foot closest to the camera is now on that seam. This is the visual I use, that line. So once Lara's a bit past that seam like this, that is when I'll jump and hold up and right. Now that was just a bit too early. This can be very specific. So let's try that again. About there. And that is still um, a mess up. So that's why this is very difficult. I have counted that there's only a few frames that it really works on if you're doing it this way. Now I did die apparently from the axe, but that is a uh, very hard thing to do and I don't recommend it. But if you want to go for it, if you want to go for every fast strategy, that is uh, something you can do. Now you just want to do running jumps through here. This lava can be scary because their hitboxes are actually quite big. Uh, here, there's another hard strat and easy strat you can do. Easy strategy is just doing two running jumps and then walking to the edge, looking straight on, and then standing jump grab, wait a second, and then pull up. Hard strategy is actually doing um, continuous running jumps all the way to the edge and then grabbing, like that. This can be hard though because if you're just a little too far ahead, um, you're going to get an outcome like this. That's um, not the outcome I was looking for. Okay, so if you're too far ahead, you're going to get an outcome like this, where you land, and that's really bad because you get attacked by the boulder, but if you're too far away, you won't grab. So this can be very precise and difficult, so I won't recommend doing it unless you're really sure of yourself. And then the next room has a few different strategies you can do. The hardest one is to do running jumps here and then hit your head. One, two, three, four steps, and then you're going to curve around the fire. As I completely failed at doing. So again. Uh, curve around the fire like this. It wasn't quite the sequence I was looking for, but you get what I mean. Let's try it one more time. One, two, three, four. And continually curve around the fire. There we go. That's what we were looking for. That's the fastest way. Instead, another way of doing it is coming up to the edge here. And then you can just do standing jumps the whole time through, like this. And that does quite nicely. Now here, if you um, do the running jump sequence, it is a uh, very nice sequence to get to the axe. So let's try that one more time. I can show it off again. One, two, three, four steps, and then you can do your curving around the fire. Or not. I'm just not good enough. But anyways, you can get our running sequence to here and just let her fall. Because we can't glitch down, that's not allowed in glitchless. Oh my goodness, I can't stop falling in the water. Yep, like this, and we'll get a nice sequence all the way all the way to the end. On a different strategy, if you're not used, if you can't um, do something like that easy.
might be more worth it to run to the edge like this and then just standing jump grab and then that will bring you all the way down to the bottom as well that's likely the easiest way to do it and then from here there's Natlo which actually has a couple different things you can do at this stage in the game I don't quite have enough ammo I don't believe so I can grab more and then you can either kill Natla or just try and pretend like she isn't there because we're doing Atlantis percent we have all of the medkits from before and we can just run through now if you get lucky this can definitely be quicker than actually um, knocking Natla down so that's gonna look something like this you have to heal throughout it but you want to jump over to this platform go over here standing jump to the end and go up Natla will actually persist in her chase up here so you do have to watch out she can't always make it into here but but she can and so you will definitely have to use medkits there she is now and there she actually knocked me forward and knocked me off the platform so you can just keep on going up like that with her attacking you I'm not going to show it again there's really no need um, and that can actually save time but it is more risky the more traditional route is to come over to here and then just get a lock on her and do side flips I'm actually going to heal now I lost my lock. Yep, and then you can just keep doing side flips back and forth, avoiding the fireball so there's no need to heal. Until she is uh, knocked down and incapacitated, just like that. So when she's knocked down, you want to instantly run over to here. Land right here like I did before. And we'll save it. Here, you just want to do a running jump and grab this platform and you can do running jumps like this and up and start climbing up like I did before I knocked down that level before and then there's one more risky sequence I will show that we can do to save time So after we roll at the this corner, we can actually do a straight running jump sequence all the way over like this. Ooh. You really have to get a curve in because it is very difficult. But we can do something like this. Curve. Ooh. I don't recommend doing this, but I would like to show it off. Curve over to here. Yeah, it's is that you can get a very very difficult sequence, so if you're all the way in the corner. You can get actually a full sequence. I used to be able to do this, but it is best if you uh, take this um, one at a time, really. So you want to land here, run this way, just land on the platform safely, and then make sure you can just back up and do a jump right here um, it actually scares a lot of people just jump to this platform because it doesn't look like you can but just doing a normal running jump you will land on this platform like that it doesn't look like it but you will some people grab for safety and that's okay if you want but you can land that then you just keep on running in these hallways there is a way to uh, jump up here while in this running sequence you can run around this corner and jump up like this Keep on going. You want to come down here, and right here, you actually want to grab and let go. If you uh, fake grab, you can go all the way down there. You don't want to roll like at the other one. You can fall down. So just grab the ledge and fall down and land. And from there, it's just a running jump over to here. And then jump up, grab. And we're going to head to the end of the Great Pyramid. And that will finish off Atlantis Percent.
glitchless. And you can also do all that without even one phasing Natla. So I hope this guide helped somewhat. It might have been a little, you know, this might have not been the best guide at times. It might have been too detailed in some spots. It might not have been detailed enough in some others. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. I hope it really helped. If you have any questions regarding anything, I can um, answer them through Discord or in the comments. So thank you very much, anyone who watched, and I hope this really helped.